Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic for newborn care, the head and chest circumference of a baby. Many parents often ask me, Doctor, my baby's head looks big. Is that normal? Or why is the chest smaller than the head? In this video, I'll explain everything you need to know about measuring head and chest size, what is normal, what is abnormal, and why these measurements are so important in understanding your baby's growth and development. So stay tuned till the end, because I'll also share real examples and medical insights that every parent should know. Right after birth, the doctor or nurse measures three important things in every newborn. One, head circumference. Two, chest circumference. Three, length and weight. These measurements help us assess how the baby grew inside the mother's womb and how their brain, lungs, and body are developing after birth. The head circumference tells us about brain growth, while the chest circumference reflects lung and thoracic development. Comparing both gives us valuable information about the baby's overall health. For a full-term newborn baby, the average measurements are a head circumference, about 33 to 35 centimeters, chest circumference, about 30 to 33 centimeters. So normally, the head is slightly larger than the chest by about one to two centimeters at birth. If the head circumference is 34 centimeters, the chest may be 32 centimeters, that's completely normal. As the baby grows, the chest gradually catches up with the head. By around six months of age, the head and chest circumference become nearly equal, and after that, the chest becomes larger. Many parents get worried when they see that the baby's head is bigger than the chest. But this is completely physiological. It means it's normal and expected. Here's why. Uh, the brain develops rapidly during pregnancy, especially in the last trimester. Uh, the skull bones are not yet fused, allowing the brain to grow fast. Uh, the chest, on the other hand, develops a bit slower. The lungs are just starting to expand after birth. So a larger head and smaller chest simply means the baby's brain grew normally inside the womb. Now let's talk about situations where the head-to-chest ratio might not be normal. 1. If the head circumference is much larger than the chest, say more than 3 cm difference, it may indicate hydrocephalus, extra fluid in the brain, a macrocephaly, large head size due to genetics or other causes, developmental issues. 2. If the head is much smaller than expected microcephaly, it may point to poor brain growth, genetic or infection-related causes. 3. If the chest is unusually small, it might indicate prematurity, respiratory or skeletal problems, a growth restriction inside the womb. That's why, during every newborn examination, we always compare head and chest circumference carefully. It helps catch problems early. Let's discuss the technique briefly. Head circumference. Use a flexible measuring tape. To place it above the eyebrows, over the ears, and around the most prominent part at the back of the head, occiput. A measure snugly, but not too tight. Chest circumference. Place the tape around the baby's chest just below the nipples. And make sure the baby is calm and breathing normally, not crying, because crying can expand the chest and give a false reading. Record the measurement in centimeters, and always note the date and age of the baby for tracking growth later. By one year of age, head circumference equals around 46 centimeters. Chest circumference equals around 47 centimeters. So, by the first birthday, the chest becomes slightly larger than the head, a normal and healthy sign. Let's summarize the key takeaways. 1. At birth, head circumference, chest circumference by 1 to 2 centimeters, normal. 2. At six months, head is almost equal to chest. Three, at one year, chest to head. Four, large head may indicate hydrocephalus. Small head may indicate microcephaly. Five, always use proper measuring technique. Six, track measurements regularly to ensure normal growth. Seven, consult a doctor if you see unusual or rapid changes. So friends, that's all for today's video on head versus chest size in newborns. I hope this video helped you understand why these simple measurements are so important for monitoring your baby's health and brain growth. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.
Your support helps us keep spreading medical awareness to parents and families. And remember, early observation and regular checkups can make a lifetime of difference for your child. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video with another informative topic.